right, good morning. It poured all night long. It was actually good sleeping in the tent, kind of the t rain on the tent just made a really nice noise to sleep to, so. But now it is still gray overcast and super muddy. I think the plan right now is just to maybe try to find some fog that's hanging over just a few of the, the peaks here. And maybe try to do like a tight scene on some of the fog in the peaks. And then kind of maybe see what I can find if there's any reflections in any of these mud puddles. But right now, totally unknown. Just going to start looking around, trying to find something to photograph. All right, so the fog is moving really fast. Uh, by the time I got my camera all set up on the first scene over that way that I was going to photograph, it was gone. So then I found this back behind me. I uh, got some nice yellow grasses in the foreground and then fog over the mountains in the background. And uh, It's really neat, but it's the fog is burning off really fast over there too. So now it's almost time to try to find a, a third scene. So keep looking, uh, see what I find. It's kind of neat. Didn't really expect to get fog, but I guess, you know, sometimes that's what happens when it rains. All right, I'm going to jump in here and try to make this video just a little bit more cohesive. There's really not a lot to show you from the morning. The conditions were kind of cool with the fog, but just none of the photos really turned out that neat. I was scrambling, trying to chase the fog instead of waiting for the fog to come to me. And it was just moving so fast, I never really got anything. Plus, I was trying to compress some scenes with a 600mm lens, and it just, they, they weren't all that sharp, or some of them weren't even in focus, or like the primary subject wasn't in focus, so... This is just an early morning where I wasn't on my game and, and I just didn't get anything good. So uh, we're going to move along now to the middle of the day after we went back to camp. So I'm going to jump in again a couple more times in this video because it was one of those days. All right, after heading back to camp and uh, drying everything out from all the rain last night, getting the tent dried out and uh, blankets dried, uh, made some lunch and back out here looking for photos for tonight. So let's see what we can find going on a short hike now trying to still look for something for tonight and tomorrow and then also still looking in case you know making ideas for future trips so I'm gonna hike up here follow this trail up and there's a little canyon kind of look down uh, thought is there might be some bigger peaks up at the end of that valley so I'm just gonna head up there and see what see what we see so after hiking around that afternoon we really didn't find anything and we didn't have any real good plans for sunset, so found a little pull-off and started cooking dinner and just kind of relaxed for a little bit and tried to recharge and figure out what we're going to do that evening. All right, what do we think? They look good? Oh yeah, that looks good. I think they look good. Yes, yes. We finally decided that it was time to go explore. We were going to head down to an area that we could see way off in the distance, but we really didn't know what was there. We got on our camera bags and we headed out into the grasslands in search of hopefully something we could photograph for sunset. Okay, well, like it or not, this is the sunset spot. Uh, it's pretty cool. I, I think it's going to work out. Um, the sun's just getting close to the horizon now. We probably have a half hour, maybe 20 minutes. Uh, there's a really cool scene right over here uh, where there's some grass. And then the, the, the mounds make like a nice sweeping like C curve around into the scene. So really nice leading line. So I think it's going to work out pretty good. We'll wait and see what the sun does. But it's not going to be a sunset shot where we have like pink pretty clouds. It's going to be this nice warm last uh, magic hour golden light on the on the scene and then probably be out of here before it's even too dark because uh, I don't know if there's gonna be much after the sun hits the horizon but we'll see stay tuned so I do like this photo the light on the hills was just beautiful and there's some nice shadows in there kind of breaking up the light really makes for a nice scene this first photo here I I feel like the left side of the photo is cut off and the right side is showing too much so I decided that I would crop it in a little bit and kind of get a tighter comp, but when I got tighter, I liked the composition, but it still feels a little bit cut off on the left, but I lost a lot of those deeper blues in the sky. So I kind of think there's a, a combination of the two that would be a nice uh, fine, you know, fine line between them. The one thing I will point out is uh, I have these cropped down to the format, the 16 by nine video format. So I think if I used a uh, uh, more of a standard, my standard is usually a three by two, um, 
it would I could crop off some of that right side and then get actually a little more sky. And then I'll also dig in my archive from that night because you know, I don't take just one photo with digital. I'm, you know, I usually take four or five different things. And then as the light kind of changed, I took a few more probably. So there's probably a lot of different photos to play with there. So I'll look through, find one that, you know, kind of looks, kind of has what I'm looking for with a, a little less on the right, a little more on the left, uh, keeps that blue sky in there. So overall, I like the scene. The light was beautiful and, uh, it all worked out pretty good for just kind of taking a shot in the dark. It was a good first photo that night. I ended up climbing up on one of these dunes here and just got some really cool after sunset pink earth shadow in the sky and just some nice pastel light on the dunes. Really great night for scrambling around and not really having much and I think it all came together. And since we ate dinner, I think I've got four or five really nice shots that I really enjoy looking at. So one last night in the tent, uh, sunrise tomorrow and then back to home. Sorry about the wind noise there. That was a little worse than I was thinking in person. I should have got out the real microphones and recorded some better audio instead of just being in a hurry trying to get a quick video in. That said, this photo really turned out cool. This is what I was looking for. I mean, this just says Badlands. The awesome erosion lines in all these dunes with their different layers. Just, it came out perfect. The nice soft lighting. You can tell the the light's coming from the right, but there's just soft shadows on the left sides of everything. And, you know, got some nice little bit of earth shadow up the top, just giving a little bit of pink up there. It all came together for just probably one of my favorite photos of the trip. I really like this one and I'm, I'm glad it turned out and I'm glad we hiked out there and just kind of, and found these. So worked out good. Sometimes some of the best photos I take are the unplanned ones. And sometimes those are some of my favorites too. It's, it's just like that. You know, I always talk about in my Beer with Brad videos, the hunt of the of the photo is some of my favorite things. And this was truly out hunting. Didn't know what I was hunting for or where, but I found it and I like it. All right, I'm heading out of the Badlands. Time to hop on the interstate and head home. Overall, I think it was a great trip. I didn't have any expectations when I came here. I didn't like have certain photos I wanted to get, certain scenes I wanted to photograph. My plan was just to come here, enjoy the park, and find things by exploring and photograph them. And so I don't feel like I'm leaving here without getting everything. I feel like I got plenty of cool photos. I don't feel like I missed any photos. And I also feel like that we barely scratched the surface. Like there's so many more things to see here and that the uh, three, a little over three days we spent in the park was um, was just barely brushing over the surface of what, what we found here. So definitely gonna be uh, a repeat trip, I'm sure. Cool thing about this is my buddy Josh and his wife Amy that, uh, that I do a lot of these photography trips with, we were in the campground getting ready to leave and we both punched in our home addresses on our GPSs. He lives in Denver, I live in Omaha, and there was only a seven minute difference from our camp spot to his front door and my front door. So that was kind of cool. Talk about being exactly halfway in the middle. But that's gonna do it for now. Time to get the pedal to the metal and get home and see my family. I can't wait to see a family. I really missed them on this trip. So uh, gonna be good to get home and see them. But thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed these videos and we'll see you again next time.